This is our Red Coast Desert Reserve Visitor Center and this is kind of the first place that you can come to figure out where you're going in the reserve. The reserve is 62,000 acres and there's hiking, biking and equestrian usage in the reserve. So if you're lost and you need to figure out where to go first, this is the place to come. We also have live animals. We have desert tortoises. We have a Gila monster, which is pretty rare. And we have a tarantula, a scorpion and a snoring mountain king snake. So there's quite a bit here in this tiny little area. We have four full-time people that work here, but we have six animals that live here. So there's more animals than people. Hi, my name is Cameron Rognan. I am the HCP administrator for the Red Cliffs Desert Reserve in Washington County. And this is my friend Tank. Tank is a Mojave Desert tortoise, and we use Tank uh, as an educational animal here at the reserve at our visitor center to kind of promote awareness about desert tortoise and, and issues that the desert tortoise faces as a threatened species. This is still the best place, you know, really in the world to find desert tortoises in the wild. One of the easiest places to see desert tortoises is up near the Pioneer Park area actually, which is really easily accessible. So if you just go for a stroll down like the T-Bone Trail up there under the power lines, that's a good place to, to often find desert tortoises. Etiquette, um, we, we do ask to stay on trail. There is a lowland zone and an upland zone. The lowland zone is mostly the area that you would hike right here around St. George. Um, the upland zone gets a little bit higher up towards Dixie National Forest. Um, but the lowland zone is critical habitat for the desert tortoise. So we say please stay on trail. Um, going off trail, can you can actually step on desert tortoises. They're, they're only the size of a silver dollar when they're born. And so you can actually step on them not knowing. Going off trail kills vegetation, things like that, um, that is needed for the desert tortoise. So stay on trail. Um, don't touch a desert tortoise if you see a desert tortoise out there. They have a special way of storing water in their bladder and what happens if you touch them and scare them is that they can void their bladder and release all of that water. And if they can't find more water, they can dehydrate and die. If you see a desert tortoise and you're out in the reserve, you can appreciate it and enjoy it from a safe distance. You can take pictures of it. The main thing to remember is just don't pick it up, don't touch it, and, and certainly don't take it home with you. Um, another thing is to keep dogs on a leash. And we love dogs, we love for your dogs to be out with you, but if they're not on a leash and they can, they can sniff out tortoise burrows pretty easily. Um, if they sniff out a tortoise burrow, they can scare the tortoise and the same thing would happen. They can void their bladder. Um, and also there are sidewinders and great basin rattlesnakes. So sometimes dogs get curious and they can get bit. And especially spring and fall when babies are being born, things like that, baby rattlesnakes are very dangerous. You know, we moved to St. George because of how beautiful the place this area is and all of our open spaces. And so even if you don't really care much for desert tortoises, at least we have this beautiful, vast open space nearby, as well as an area to provide for recreation opportunities like hiking, mountain biking, rock climbing, horseback riding, you know, all those non-motorized recreational activities that uh, the reserve is popular for. One of the main things is a lot of people don't even know they're in the reserve when they're in the reserve. So a lot of people have lived here 20 years and they had no idea this visitor center's here and they really, they've hiked the reserve all the time, but they don't even know that they're in the reserve. And so the main thing is just how to behave in the reserve, how to help, help other people help us care for these animals. And so we, we educate them. We love having live animals here because it's one of the only places in St. George where people can see live animals. And they are not only just live animals, but the live animals that they'd see here in town when they're out hiking in the reserve. We'd love for you to come visit us. Um, at our visitor center located here in downtown St. George. You can come visit Tank, come see Tank the tortoise. Um, we've got a Gila monster Hercules and we've got a, a mountain king snake as well for you to see. Come see some animals and get some stickers and some pencils and learn about all that Southern Utah has to offer. You can email us at info at redcliffsdesertreserve.com or go to our website at www.redcliffsdesertreserve.com and our phone number is 435-634-5759.